with your perfectly knowing eyes. And we just knew, no matter how different we were, we were nothing but the same. So why did I steal your car? Cameron, I need to know. Do you love me? miles per hour, that's when you hear the ding. You've been so lost in your own mind that you've forgotten to fill up. Now you're running out of gas, and you're 70 miles deep into the middle of nowhere. And by you, of course. I mean me. to me is a better place when you ignore the part of you that is flawed. Of course, that's the part everyone else sees. Believe it or not. I always thought it wasn't coincidence that you walked into my life. Just when my end all be all was collapsing all around me. And you had your whole life ahead of you, which was intoxicating and new. And so what, five years later, you're so in love? That has nothing to do with me. Hey, Dad. What, what do you want? I uh, ran out of gas. Yeah. What do you want me to do about it? I don't know. I just wanted to let you know. Where are you? I'm not sure. I, I was. I've been driving for like an hour and a half. I've been speeding. I, I ran out of gas. Well, I screwed that up too, right? <laughs> yeah, you sure as hell did. So where's Ellie? Oh, God damn it, Cam. What'd you do, leave her? After all she's done for you. You repay her by throwing it all back in her face and leaving. Granted, you did run out of gas, so I'll take that as a sign, son. Karma. She is a bitch. Thank you.
break down? <sighs> um, yeah, I ran out of gas. I've been here all night. There's a gas station about a quarter of a mile up the road. You could have walked. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> There's usually a gas can or two rolling around in the back of my truck. Grab one. <laughs> Thank you. I, um, I appreciate it. Anything else I can do? Um... phone died. <laughs> yeah, of course it did. You back home yet? No. Well, have you at least called Ellie? No. Damn it, boy. Now, that young lady deserves a lot better than that from you. You do know that, right? Dad, Ellie's pregnant. figured out why I stole your car. I might eventually. But I think it deals too much with the root of our problems for me to even explore the notion that stealing your car may actually define our relationship better than either of us ever could. For you to deal with it. You've got to. Just to see what happens. You had your night of fun. All messed up with karma bitching at you. Now maybe. Just maybe. It's time for you to go home. And by you, of course. I mean me.